Francis and Ghana. are in there, Alistair Overeem versus Francis Ngannou. And how about the stones on the ring to take a second fight with this monster? I mean, it's unbelievable that you have Alistair Overeem back in there. The first time his head got punched into orbit, but he understands that he got knocked out. He still feels with his level of kickboxing, he is the better striker and can beat Francis Ngannou. Well, he continues to stay busy and he continues to land with volume punches here. I mean, volume, but he's not wasting anything. He's so accurate out there. Effective punch there by the ring. Oh, combination lands. You want to talk about putting strikes together. Beautiful execution. And every one of them are landing, overwhelming him with different attacks. Look at him drive his chin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Oh, and he gets tagged. Nice combination there, and might not be a bad idea for the opposition to just tweak that head off the yeah. He was landing one before. Now he's throwing everything in combination. Looked like it did They're stun him a little bit. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh! He's giving him so many different things right now. Oh, nice jab. So 28 total strikes have now landed for Alistair Over. Get right here. Ngannou gets hit by that leg kick. You may want to start checking some of these. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. The Predator gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can wrap. Oh, huge left hand from Francis Ngannou. Every time he loads up and extends, you feel like the fight might be ending. Yeah, absolutely. And the whole crowd holds their breath. Right. right. You hear a big exhale. Every time Francis loads up to go finish a fight, you hear the crowd take all the air in yeah. because they're ready to explode. That's the type of performer, that's the type of fighter that Francis is. He's got to go. Oh, this fight's going to be over. Myself. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high when he was going to be low. And now he's got him hurt very bad. Oh, what a shot to the body. He's trying to keep it the post of it, but he's hurt very, very bad. Big knee to the body. Oh, yet another beautiful knee there by the Predator, Francis Ngannou. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to go. All right, 20 seconds to go in the round. Back to the feet now. Look at him working. Whoa! Oh, oh, oh. He got him! Oh, my goodness, what a fight. Just the way he drew it up as he gets the knockout victory here tonight, it's hard to land a strike more flush than he did right there, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming. So he'll see the replay and probably shake his head, but ultimately this is a huge result and a huge win for that fighter here tonight. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. A full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship-winning performance. He used his wrestling. He used his elbows. He used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 50 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Alistair the Oh, well, there he is after a huge knockout win tonight. You going to the after party or what? I mean, I'm heading over there right now, John. <laughs> I'm asking the producers, how soon can I get up? This is going to be a party over there. Not only because of the knockout, but that extra bonus.